you have anything to say but about all the turmoil you're filming this car. This is our first glimpse of the man linked to an online video that has triggered protests across the world. Authorities in Los Angeles took Nakula Basile Nakula to a police station for questioning. They want to know if he violated the terms of his probation after he was convicted of bank fraud charges two years ago. He's not allowed to use the internet or aliases without permission. Police insist he's not under arrest. We are just in an assist mode. What we did is we went in and we obviously had to check to make sure that he um, had any weapons and he was very cooperative. The film at the centre of all this controversy appears to have been shot in this building near Los Angeles. It's also the headquarters of a non-profit organisation called Media for Christ, run by this man, Joseph Nasrallah Abdulmasi. The organisation took out a filming permit from local authorities. We now also know more about the movie maker's motive. Steve Klein, who heads an organisation called Courageous Christians United, told news agencies the intention was to lure Muslims sympathetic to Osama bin Laden to see the film. Then they could identify and expose them. One of the actresses in the video clip posted online says the cast was duped and that dialogue offensive to Muslims was dubbed in after the scenes were shot. When I first saw the trailer, I was like confused. And I thought, what did he do to this movie, you know, that was supposed to be something different? There's no evidence anyone ever came to see the movie, and the affair might have ended there had a trailer of the film not been uploaded to YouTube. Then someone still unknown translated it into Arabic, after which the host of an Egyptian religious program somehow found the video and put it on TV. It was only then that the trailer became widely known about in the Arab world and sparked the violent storm of protest that followed. Will Jordan, Al Jazeera.